Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? Damn phone's busted. Let's get down to Boston. Apparently there's been an explosion at the Boston Marathon, I am told. One of our producers... Maybe I dialed wrong. Run! A second explosion Run! goes off. Get out of the stands. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! New developments in the allegations against Kevin Spacey. ABC News confirming prosecutors plan to meet with the son of a former Boston news anchor. What else is Family Guy trying to tell us? Does life imitate art or the other way around? I want to take a quick moment to thank my patrons over at Patreon.com for making this channel and reports like this possible. Thank you. In 2014, BBC audiences must have felt like they were in the Twilight Zone. They described it as weird and unsettling. An episode of Family Guy, which centered around Robin Williams and featured a failed suicide attempt, was still airing as the tragic news of Robin Williams' real suicide broke. Not long after the revelations about Harvey Weinstein became front page news, online researchers found an old clip of Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane joking about Weinstein's predatory behavior. The joke was widely received and was a telling illustration of just how much of an open secret Weinstein's behavior really was in Hollywood. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> So what else is an open secret in Hollywood? During Caitlyn Jenner's much publicized transition, Family Guy fans quickly referenced clips that seemed to predict this very scenario. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. And now please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. According to journalist Liz Crokin, Jenner's proclivities were not such a well-kept secret among Hollywood circles. Look, this is, this is what I'm going to say about this. I worked, I've worked in journalism for two decades now, okay? I worked for Us Weekly, Star Magazine, National Enquirer. Now let me tell you something. I'd say five to ten years ago, I found out about Bruce Jenner that he identified as a woman, and that at night, and whenever, you know, no one was around, he threw on a dress, put on some lipstick, high heels, walked around the house. And let me tell you something. If I went on your show five or ten years ago and said this, people would call me a whack job. In a 2005 episode, a naked Stewie is seen running through the mall, screaming that he has just escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement. Eight bucks and I'll do it. Fine. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Of course, now the name Spacey is synonymous with molestation, the actor facing numerous accusations of sexual assault on minors. Then, in a 2012 episode of Family Guy, director Brett Ratner was named as purchasing the baby character Stewie in an elite underground auction, reminiscent of something from the movie Taken. The current bid is $200,000. Oh my god. Going once, twice, sold for $200,000. Our next item appears to be a late entry. You like that? I have 50000 I have 75000 Thank you, Brett Ratner. Do I have 100 now, six women have come forward to allege sexual assault by Ratner, including rape. Stewie's participation uses comedy to point out a sobering truth about these auctions. Not only are they real, but they traffic in children as well. In one episode, Meg and Chris sneak into George W. Bush's Crawford Ranch. There it is, the Crawford Ranch. I can't believe we're actually doing this. 
Inside, they find pictures alluding to the close relationship between the Bush family and Osama bin Laden, as well as Satan himself. It's safe to say that last picture contained more truth than the viewers realized, given the Bush's affiliation with Skull and Bones and Bohemian Grove. Meg and Chris go on to find neatly arranged lines of cocaine, a reference not only to George W.'s notorious party days, but also the Bush family's involvement with CIA cocaine imports. In an old interview, Ron Paul stated he believed George Bush was deep into drug smuggling. It's public knowledge, though once again the media are not saying anything about it, that Oliver North and his people involved with the, the Contras have been running drug operations, cocaine primarily, bringing it back into the United States. And there are other uh, investigations which show that George Bush's office, Donald Gregg particularly, and the people he was working with, have been uh, supervising an enormous drug operation, which once again was bringing, sending uh, illegal arms or down to uh, the Contras and elsewhere and bringing cocaine and other types of drugs back into the United States. I think we've gotten some other information too, of course, that uh, George or the CIA has given the Noriega over the years $200,000 a year. Oh, yes. And uh, they kept feeding him money even when uh, Bush was the head of the CIA. Mm -hmm. I think uh, George Bush is uh, deep into it, well over his head. Another episode depicted Cheney as sexually and physically abusive. Was it good for you? Yes. Good. You better not be pregnant. In her book, Transformation of America, MK Ultra monarch survivor and U.S. government whistleblower Kathy O'Brien wrote extensively of her abuses at the hands of numerous government officials, the most physically abusive of which was Dick Cheney. Following one incident with the former vice president, she wrote, My face was battered, mouth torn, and throat felt torn and stretched. I had difficulty swallowing for some time and could not speak. I was certainly in no condition to return to the cocktail party and was escorted out by guards slash agents. So what else does Seth MacFarlane know? And what else has Family Guy been trying to tell us? Especially with clips such as this one featuring Tom Cruise. I love you, Katie. I love you too, Tom. Oh my god! I'm free! The force field is down! Go now! In an atmosphere as litigious as Hollywood, it can be almost impossible to speak out without risking everything to slander and defamation lawsuits unless cleverly hidden as a joke. But it also begs a bigger question. How much of what is shown as fiction is actually true? It would seem in a world where fiction regularly passes for truth, truth, at least sometimes, masquerades as fiction. So what's your opinion? Is Seth MacFarlane cleverly trying to expose Hollywood inside info, or is this all just a coincidence or predictive programming? Do you know of any other Family Guy predictions or possible celebrity secrets? Let me know in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And don't forget to head on over to Patreon to support this channel and check out the latest insider videos and posts. In fact, I just uploaded a new members only video about Angelina Jolie. So head on over and check it out.